crack was cracking. I'm out here in the UK and the Strata Count Tour, man. Much love. And you know you rocking with man. It's a little easy easy and me about that online. So we finna get it cracking, man. Oh, yuck, I've been knowing yuck, man, for, for 25 years. Like, we all met at the same time because I was on the Law House Experience album. So it had Ice Cube, Ice T, Farside, Caution, The Loonies, Drew Down, um, West Side Connection. So we all, we all was in the same circle. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, yuck, yuck was very hot about Charleston, uh, Charleston White. But he's not, see, people want to, they want to fuck him up. I want to fuck him up because they want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I want to beat his ass. I want to publicly humiliate him. Because you don't talk you don't talk about dead people like that, man. You don't do that, man. That's whack. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going, it's going down. So you want to keep it, um, gloves up, guns down. Right, right. Because I'm going to tell you something. See, him... People paying attention to him, that's where he's feeding on people. If, if you don't pay attention to him, he has no voice. But he needs to get fucked up, bro. Because he talked about Nipsey, he talked about Gonzo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, this in LA, and like, it's just it's preposterous. But he's baiting people, he's working with the police. So you're gonna fuck around and get in trouble trying to do something to him. Nah, I haven't come to the ring. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, most definitely, man. I mean, right. you know, in terms of Gonzo, we definitely want to say rest in peace and, um, you know, your relationship and stuff that you had with him. Um, yeah. You know, what was that like, you know? Man, Gonzo, man, you never know what you was going to get messing with Gonzo. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, what I did see was he was trying to be positive. You know what I'm saying? Gonzo was a, used to be a loose cannon, a bunch of dramas, a bunch of beats all that shit but he was doing those beats to 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 get back into this game you feel what i'm saying but um he wasn't he wasn't thugged out like 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 he was trained to be he wasn't he was a good dude you know what i'm saying so it's sad you know um i was on the caution album i was on i was in the video what you want to do uh they main single i was there you know what i'm saying so um Yo, this this crazy. Man. I've been blue the whole time for this whole week. I just been like, why him? Why now? Getting custody of his of his kid. He's getting his shit together. Why now? Like, I don't understand it. Like, real man, it's real shit. Everybody's broke up out here in LA, right? Everybody's broke up. Yeah, no, I could imagine it's definitely a big loss to like the hip hop culture and stuff as well. You know, um, especially with the work that he's been doing recently, just uh, raising awareness and people being right. able to squash their differences in other ways and just um, right. you know, I've always seen him as as quite a character with like you know the fun facts and stuff that he used to drop and you know right. the ent- you know right. it, was, it was always pretty, <laughs> it was always dope with it, man. You know, so I was very right. shocked myself when I got when I seen the news and stuff on the report you know what had happened to him and um you know it was definitely a shame and a sad one man and hopefully you know those who were responsible yeah yeah you know be brought to justice man yeah man um what's sad about it is that where we at right now I'm at broadcasting via satellite from LA Crenshaw Crenshaw area um it ain't no joke over here, bro. Like it's it's million dollar homes around here. It's million dollar homes everywhere, but it's still thugged out out here. So for him to to um to think ahead and like I'm gonna get out of L.A. I'm gonna go to Seattle. I'm a son, you know what I'm saying. And for that to happen to him there was terrible, you know. Um, and and the sad part about it is it's nothing that we can do about it. It's nothing nobody can do about it. You know what I'm saying? We just have to take that shit on the chin. You know what I'm saying? Um. God is going to get them. Whoever did this, they're, they're going to, they have to pay through God. But um, the people that are alive, that's clowning my homeboy and talking down to only one person, you know what I'm saying? He needs to, he needs to get it. So we going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make that shit happen to we get in the ring and I knock this whole block off and he's embarrassed. And, you know, hopefully at the end of the day, um, everybody can still be on some cool shit. I can knock some sense into him without having to 
you know, people losing their lives. You know, you know, it's not a win-win. Even though he's an asshole, he's being ra assholeish right now, doing what he's doing, still in all, man. Um, I still don't. I, I don't think he deserves to to be killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's still another black man. Um, like I was, I said in the, uh, the other interview, I'm like, if the shoe was on the other foot, and it was Gonzo, that's just, that was alive, and and, and um, Charleston White died. Gonzo wouldn't have been on that. Like, like, dude, is, you know what I'm saying? It would he wouldn't have been on that. That's terrible, man. So, yeah, yeah no, man. definitely. I, I think you know he's displayed in the past that um, he's willing to go to any kind of lengths, I guess, to get sort of attention with this, you know, the sort of shock jack media and stuff. Um, I think it's the money, man. I think it's money because the the, the stuff that he's doing. I mean, even a, a person, a, 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 a crazy person, wouldn't do this. I, it's, it's the money, man. I think it's the money. Uh, yeah, yeah, money making. He's getting paid. Yeah, yeah, getting paid. yeah money making nigga do some strange things, man. Yeah, man. Um, um, you know, as far as like, you know, the family, the family is like, just imagine if it was your son. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know if they Scott, they everybody got away scot free. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everybody's really, really hurting right now. I was gonna go to the funeral, but I'm not gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Um. Is there any particular reason why? Or are you just, yeah, is there any particular reason why you ain't gonna go? Man, going to a funeral and black funerals, it's a bunch of emotion going on and you never know what can happen. You know what I'm saying? You never know what could happen. But I know that um, Gonzo is resting in peace. I know he's looking down on all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know he's even in disbelief. But what the word was that it was a girl that um that that he was dealing with that that somewhat set him up you know what I'm saying I talked to his family but they didn't get all into it but then um there was a person from the interview that I did that left a comment and it sounded like it's it's pretty much on the money man um Gonzo went to that place got into it with dude and them I heard they were some Seattle bloods and you know he's the type of dude he ain't gonna back down he's gonna talk shit he's going to talk shit that's what he does the best and so I, I just, you know, I probably just, I, I, I just think these just blew it off. Like I didn't even think it was that serious as it was. But as the guy says, I'm gonna send it to you. Um, as the guy says, he was like, um, Gonzo was the aggressor. That's what he said. He said that um, the guys got into it with, with Gonzo and uh, Gonzo was still talking shit after the guys was trying to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like he was talking shit, running up on him. And one of the young guys that was with them they did that, then they took his backpack off, and that's when he ran to the to the gas station. It's um um it's an unfortunate incident, bro. You know, um there's no nobody know exactly because you wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? But the family, they know more than what the public knows, you know what I'm saying? So um it's well, real fishy. Think, yeah, I, I, um, do you think the public sometimes, you know, have things, you know, with leaving comments and stuff to you know, sometimes people putting out speculation. We did hear around um, Bosco. He spoke on it similarly and stuff, and said he he had it with yeah, some kind of setup he, as well. He spoke on it, but um, just because a person is your cameraman, that doesn't mean that you're going to tell him everything. That doesn't mean that he's going to be with you all the time. Your whole life is not going to be on camera unless you have a reality show. I just feel like um, I don't really know too many people that's riding around with gauges. That's what he got shot with. Was a twelve gauge. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I'm like, who's? That's what makes me think it's sent. But you know, um, at the end of the day, we can speculate and we can say all these things, man. At the end of the day, he's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to preserve I mean, his life. I you know what I'm saying? With that being said, you know, um, you know, you spent a lot of time around him, as you said. You could recount back to going back to some of the early Corsair material and stuff. Um, what what memories do you have? What are you you know some of your best memories of of being with Gonzo? Man, I'm gonna take I'm, I'm gonna say some shit that, that 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 I haven't said. That's why it's like it's it's surprising that this happened to him, but in actuality, it's not. Cause I'd have been with Gonzo several times in several places, and he would do shit like uh, it'd be like like a gang of people like like ten dudes, and he would be like, "Fuck all that, plus get the strap." I'm like, we don't got no fucking strap. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'll get you. Like, for real. Like, in Atlanta, like, we was in Atlanta. We had Club Nicky's. And 
Uh, Gonzo's in the club. He bumps into a dude, knocks the drink all on dude. Most people would be like, okay, well, you know, my bad. Let me let me get you another drink. Man, we rich. We buy you a hundred drinks. Man, they was out there shooting at Gonzo. Uh, uh, he was hiding behind cars and shit. This is nothing new, but but the seriousness of it, like we used to him being in beat. We used to him talking shit. We used to all this going on. You know what I'm saying? But we not we not used to somebody really just going and really taking it all the way there. It must have been a turned up situation there that happened, you know, um, for a person to really just go and take your life like that. You know what I'm saying? It must have been some shit that was really said. You know what I'm saying? And he has definitely has a mouth on him. But the memories that I, I have uh, of Gonzo is mostly with with girls and just okay. living that life, that rap life, and we all you know being with Cube and we everywhere and you know performing at all the places. We young man. We used to run through a lot of women in LA. Like that's that's the that's the the part that I remember of Gonzo, like just having fun and rapping and really living that rap life, like really that rap life for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a shame that he's gone, man. Like that shit is crazy. It's it's like mind blowing. You know what I'm saying? Because he was definitely a, a a strong personality, man. You know what I mean? But um, rest in peace to my own boy and um, Charles White coming for you, brother. Yeah, Come Charles, Charles White. Charles White. So, um, you know. Oh yeah, I'm in for you. You gonna see these hands? I ain't trying to bust him. I ain't trying to shoot him with no pistol. I ain't trying to do none of that. I want, I want him to see these. You, you, you want him to get the fade? Yeah, I want to get that fade. That's what I want. I want because it would do how you, how you said how you was talking about Gonzo. It's, 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 it's unreal. It's like he wasn't a person. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, you know, I know you said it was the money earlier, but, you know, what do you think really drives them towards this kind of disrespect? Because it's not the first time, you know, we had stuff towards Nipsey in the past. Do you think it's just... Um... I, I, th I think that what's driving him, definitely, number one, is that money. And number two, the fact that nobody has done anything yet. That's what he's looking at. He's like, I just said all this and nothing has happened. So that's what he's driving off that. But um, that's all right. He ain't going to be able to run away from when we get in that ring, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, you reckon how much, how much, how much you think it's gonna take to get him to step up? He said, I remember um, uh, seeing one of his posts when Gonzo was talking about it. He said that alone, just him alone, that he wants two million dollars. That's what that's what he said. He wants two million dollars. That's his price. Okay, that's his price. Check it out. I'll take a cut. I'll take a cut of my money just to get in that ring with him. I'll take the cut of it. I don't care about it. I just want to, you know what I mean? I just I just want to uh, raise my own boy. My own boy name where it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no blemishes or none of that on my own boy's name. He's a good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a father. You know what I'm saying? He's he, he had his moments, but he when we caught him on this respectful, he was a very respectful man. You know what I'm saying? And he was a good person. You know, so he didn't deserve to die like that. So any fuck nigga talking that shit, you know what I'm saying, about about a dead person that can't defend himself, so, this days is coming. You know what I'm saying? Dude's days is coming. But um, it ain't no threat. It ain't no no uh, malice or killing or nothing like that. It's straight, straight hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I think that would be the perfect um sort of forum for it as well. The, you know, the boxing ring. Just how, like I've seen Gonzo do it before. He led by example with that. Right, right. And then they was cool. They was cool. And the was cool after that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, uh, that lets you know right there that Killing shouldn't be going on for the score that you hated. Y'all cool, y'all cool now and singing cool by y'all together. You know what I'm saying? So, was he there? Did, was you was he there at that at that boxing fight? Did I see it? Was he there? Did you attend it? No, I wasn't there. No, no, I wasn't there. Somebody had told me about it, and I caught it on YouTube. I was I was laughing so hard when I seen it, but I, but I thought about it. I was like, it's so ingenious. Cause at the end of the day, everybody's walking off and going home. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we seen that again recently with uh, the versus battle with you know the well, locks and well, dipset. Well, oh, oh yeah, the, the locks yeah. and dipset. Yeah, the versus. Um, just I mean, I, I was just more meaning it in the contrast to like hip hop where we see like um, it doesn't always have to be you know all these crazy beasts and people getting killed and shot. You know. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know what I what I do is a uh, big up to uh, Styles P. He has said some some real shit too. He was like, you know. Um, just because we're going back and forth and, you know, it's a competitive sport and all that type of shit. Still and all, we are black men. We are not against each other. That'll mess up the bag. Even though it'll bring the bag, 
It'll mess up the bag at the end of the day, black people fighting and killing each other. So I love to see that. I love to see uh, the Muhammad Ali style of, 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 of selling tickets and having people come and, you know, it's a big hoopla. But, you know, I think that, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Jada got him. But still, no, big up the Dipset. I love Dipset. So, yeah, yeah, you know, it's a good, good show. Shit. Yeah, yeah, peace to him. It was a good show. They wrapped it too. It a good show. Um, with that being said, do you feel as though, like with modern hip hop, you know, you coming from the old school and stuff yourself? Um, do you feel as though, like, when it comes to just being like, you know, conscious and spitting about stuff that matters, and you know, um, it's it's, it's very, few. it's very few of those rappers up today. But uh, I say that when we was growing up, I I, I show you the difference. Out of all the music that's out right now, the new music, you can't really remember any of the lyrics. Back in the day, the LL Cool J's, the Rakim, the uh, Cool G Raps, the KRS-One's, the, the NWA's, all of them, you knew who they were, you knew they songs, you knew they lyrics, you can still remember it. Now, yeah. today, I'm not, you know, uh, down in the young rappers, because shit has to change, but still in all, man, uh, they, they be talking about, uh, 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 I, 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 I did this off the top of my head. I'm like, it sounds like it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We used to write. We used to do songs, like structured songs, like real songs. But, you know, big up to the to the new artists. You know, y'all do y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? But put some depth with it. Put some, a message with it. Have a message. With it. You, you know, know what I'm speaking of music and the message, and, you know, we don't always want to concentrate, I guess, on the violence and stuff that we see happen. Some say it's just a depiction in the streets, but do you feel as though when it comes to um, black people that there's a heavy emphasis on like, you know, making negative music? Somebody did a post the other day and they said um, when blacks talk about like killing each other and murdering each other and stuff, it's okay. But when they use their voice and, you know, try to talk about other stuff, it gets shut down. You know, the, 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 the labels, the, the labels will tell you when I was, I was in a group called Himalaya. We went on, to, we went on 30 city tours with Exhibit, movie soundtracks, the whole shit. The funny thing I saw when, when they signed us was as soon as we got in there, like, oh, they, we want you to sound like, I'm like, well, I thought y'all signed us because we sound like, you know what I'm saying? They like, nah, uh, killing and negativity and killing and, and, and drug talk in, in music is the biggest seller of music. You understand what I'm saying? Um, like, even though they have these, you know, the white, the white, uh, the white groups and all of that, they have Coachella and they have all these stuff and people's passing out, dying at the thing, you know, taking acid and all this shit. Still, in all, it's a money maker. I feel like um, um, black people, we run it when it comes to the music, but we don't run it because we're not behind the board desk. We're not the people that is holding the budgets. You know what I'm saying? So the more ignorance, like now today. Who can be the most ignorant? You know what I'm saying? Like blatant talk about Percocets and you know all this type of thing. You know, um, I don't know, man. I think the violence is is, is set there. It's it's um, it's bridged for us to, you know what I'm saying? We making money, but still in all, right? The message in it, man. The message in it. Uh, yeah, man. It's just changed. You know, it's it's watered down. Um, it is what it is, man. I just I just feel like a, a circle of new music should come back to where we're talking about something. Well, it's kind of interesting, man, because we've spoken to a few guests recently, and I don't know if it's just from the timeline that they're from, but um, everybody's quite, you know, similarly said the same thing. You know, um, right. I spoke to Nummy Num the other day from the Loonies, too, man. Shout out to Num. And, um, you know, we was kind of speaking about the same thing, too, as well. All right, all right, right. You know, it's just, you know, I, I was signed to Ice-T, so... You know, when you sit up with Ice T, he's gonna give you unadulterated games. Game. Tell you yeah. Exactly what it is, straight up game. You know, and so I, I learned from the master. He would he would tell us like, these people, you don't know where these people at that you're that you're rapping and talking stuff to. They know where you're gonna be at. They know where your shows are at. You're putting yourself in danger. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a different security compared to a, a, a Taylor Swift and. Uh, a Jennifer Lopez compared to a Rick Ross and the Gucci Man and all that. Something's going to happen at these shows. Uh, it's set out there for that. But you don't see these at the white shows because they have a certain before that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's dying at the, at, you know what I mean? There's going to be no reason why people are dying at a music award shows or being shot or, you know, this type of thing's terrible. Yeah, yeah. There's still a lot of racism within music. People, they, they just hide it and cover it up and 
stuff like that, man. But, you know, it's a lot of racism in music. And that's when it comes to the artists to not fall for anything or just have to start getting their own labels and putting their own music out. So they don't have to, you know, be subjected to these, uh, these executive producers and people behind the board desk that they really don't care about you. They just want to sit, so sell that record. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But um, I've been in the game a long time. Um, I'm on Easy es last recorded album called Impact of a Legend um, that I was asked to be on. Um, I knew Easy e My cousin used to be Easy es personal bodyguard. So at 16, 17 years old, I would be around Easy e or be at the studio. And um, how I got signed was through Laylaw. I was um, like 17, 18 years old. Laylaw signed me and put me on that big album with all those name, big name artists. I was the only new artist on there. And then from there, I left and got in the group Himalayas. Then after that, went back solo. And then um, I'm on some acting shit right now. Right now I'm just on some acting and reading scripts and um, the music is cool, you know what I mean? But right now I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, it's like you was telling some stories earlier. A lot of times we go through so much experiences and we got so much stories there creatively to tell that I think can um, translate onto film, whether it's um, direct, uh, you know, right, that you, right, you right. Be, the, be, be the eyes of it, be the eyes of it that's being, the shit that's being shot. Yeah, we need more um, black directors. We need more black people behind the scenes like a Tyler Perry, that type of thing. But we need more Tyler Perrys. You feel me? We need more of them. You know, and all it, all it takes are not like, they act like black people are not smart enough to do the shit we are. We need the chance, we need the funding for us to be able to go do it. Um, black people, we're brilliant people. We just, need, we just need that paper, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I, I would love to see that. I would love to see more actors and more directors and more, you know what I mean? Like, we need that, you know what I mean? Besides basketball and sports, we need more avenues things are you know what i'm saying so. yeah yeah no for real so um you know lastly you know any advice that you want to give to like fans and stuff out there you know um any messages you want to drop for the fans oh, um to the kids that's that's young that's really infatuated with this music better be a rapping ass motherfucker man if, if not take your ass to school take your ass to school and go get a trade and go do something. My parents used to tell me that I I made it. I, I went as far as I wanted to. When I started seeing it, it wasn't about the music. It was about some other, you know, in some inside things and things I don't, you know, I, I don't, I choose not to indulge in, but um, to the kids, it's a cold business. It's 10% business, 90% show. You know what I'm saying? Um, focus on Focus on something that's going to bring some money to you. If music is your field, then go through go through the motions. What music is going to put you through, but it's a, it's a it's a it's a bad thing. It's a cold thing, man. Once you start getting to the to, to deep into music, and you start seeing that it's really not about the talent. It's not. It's about it's really about what you're willing to do for the price of success and fame. I saw that. That's when I was like, nah, you know. So now music is just a hobby. For me and i'll put up i'll put a record out because i can you know but um if i had to do it all over again man i would be behind the scenes you know what I'm saying? and i would be doing video directing or do some other shit you know what i mean but the music is terrible that that's it's not for the fate of heart for you that yeah yeah really? no, for real did you think that's why we see like you know a lot of major guys just you know sticking with the underground and that now staying independent right like i'm talking about like you know i don't want to get all all into it but yeah man they, they 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 proposition they pictures they they offer they offer a lot of things a lot of a lot of holiday parties and a lot of they've seen a lot of stuff and I'm like wow you know what I mean um, it wasn't about the music I will say that it was it was never about the music to them company as good as your your last record you can sell five hundred thousand and it's still a drop you you know what I'm saying so if you was independent you rich. You know what I'm saying? You put your own album out, you sell 500,000 copies, you're rich for forever. You know what I'm saying? The companies will drop you, man. So, you know, um, like I wanted to say, big up, rest in peace to my homeboy Gonzo. We gonna miss you, man. Shit didn't have to happen to you like that. 
Charleston White, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, homie. I'm coming for you. Be ready. We'll go get your ass in the gym. It's, it's about to go all the way down. You feel me? So, yeah, man. Well, well, there you have it, man. The challenge thrown down to Charleston White. You know, hopefully that, that mall accept. Well, I'm going to go hard on him. That's it. If Snoop and Nip can come up with the money, I'm sure between the, in between time, we can turn it up so much to where they gonna come up with that money. They gonna wanna see him get his ass with. Too many people wanna see him get his ass with. So that's what that's what I think. I think that's what I'm about to do. So Friday, I, I do the uh, I do the, the interview. I'm about to put him on blast, but this is a taste of it. I want to come. Um, I want to come on y'all show. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I watched y'all show. I love y'all show so. Yeah, no, we appreciate that, man. And we're going to be all gas, no brakes with you, too, alongside that, because we want to see Charles right. get his comeuppance. Right. <laughs> Real talk, man. Real so, talk. You know, uh, yeah. uh, y'all keep y'all, y'all keep y'all show popping. Y'all keep it going. I'm going to get on my, I'm about to clean out. But um, everybody wanna, love you, man. You want to drop me social media or anything for that? You know, let them know where they can uh, check you out or you... Uh, on Instagram, uh, the Don for Los Angeles, T H A D O N P H A L O S A N G E L E S, the Don for Los Angeles. Y'all go peep me out, man. Come fuck with me. Cause you're stuck with me. Come fuck with me. Yeah, y'all yeah, definitely, man. So, Los Angeles salute, man. And uh, we're going to catch up soon. So, uh, keep us in the loop with what's going down. And, uh, you know, thanks oh, for stopping don't. by. All right, thanks, peace. Man. Appreciate you. What's up, man? Up. Peace family, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.